So MAPS is a 36-year-old nonprofit that's been researching the therapeutic uses of psychedelics. In about 2015, 2016, we were wrapping up our phase two research with MDMA-assisted therapy for the treatment of PTSD. And we realized that we had the opportunity to market MDMA as a pharmaceutical product. And so we started the MAPS Public Benefit Corporation Pharmaceutical Company which is now currently in its final phase three trial. We've completed enrollment of the second, second of two phase three trials, which are required by the FDA uh, to receive approval. We're planning to file the new drug application by the end of this year, once we complete the research. Um, and our results have been just astonishing. Um, and we published the research of our first phase three trial in Nature Medicine. The coverage was picked up on the front page of the New York Times and 60 Minutes and like major media blitz because we found that 68% of people who went through our protocol no longer met the criteria for a PTSD diagnosis. And these are people who have been suffering on average with PTSD for 14 years. So we're talking about a very effective treatment. 83% um, of them demonstrated clinically significant reduction in their PTSD symptoms. And so this is a uh, profound um, breakthrough treatment. The FDA has designated MDMA-assisted therapy for PTSD, a breakthrough treatment. And so we're looking at approval. Um, so once we file the new drug application, it can take six months to one year for the FDA to approve. And if all goes well, we're looking at um, the end of 2023 with potential to bring the drug to market um, in early 2024. Sure. So there hasn't been all that much innovation in the treatments of mental health conditions since the invention of lithium in the 1950s and then SSRIs, which came around in the 1980s. They were kind of seen as like, OK, this is good enough. We've solved mental health problems. And so there hasn't been really any innovation. So now what we're looking at is a huge amount of prescription of, of these drugs, and they work incredibly differently on the brain. So um, I would think of SSRIs and these different kinds of um, pharmaceutical interventions for things like anxiety, uh, trauma, PTSD, even um, addiction, depression. They, these drugs are palliative. They treat symptoms. They don't actually treat the root cause of what is generating the behavioral health condition that a person is experiencing. And so they work very differently on the brain. Um, psychedelics tend to disrupt what is called the, the default mode network, which is that place um, from which you perceive yourself, your sense of yourself and who you are and what you care about in the world. Um, so we're looking at something that also works together with therapy. So we're not talking about strictly a pharmacological intervention that causes a, a neurochemistry um, shift, neurochemical shift in your brain. We're talking about a psychedelic assisted psychotherapy protocol, which is the protocol that we're currently investigating with our clinical trials. Um, and so the, what we found with MDMA is it really potentiates talk therapy. And so it helps people. We do eight hour long sessions um, at, with two trained therapists who are trained in helping facilitate a person in accessing their own inner healing intelligence. And so we're finding that the results are also incredibly durable and that people tend to continue to improve even after the treatment ends. And so we're looking at not daily dosing, but this is an inpatient uh, treatment modality with trained therapists over a short period of time. Um, our protocol is three and a half months where you get three sessions with MDMA in the eight hour session, and then you get 12 preparation and integration sessions, which are about 90 minutes long, interspersed between that. So it's an entirely different method of treatment that really goes straight into the root cause of what people are dealing with. The behavioral health market in this country is just absolutely massive from addiction and recovery, um, depression. So the PTSD market alone is, there's about 6% of people who suffer with PTSD. Um, I think 20% of Americans are dealing with some sort of significant mental health disorder. So, and that's just in the United States alone. We've seen a huge increase in these numbers over COVID. Um, we also have, you know, impending climate catastrophes and we've got, you know, the economy and all these reasons for people 
that they're really suffering right now. And the currently available treatments, the number one people who come to us wanting to learn more about these treatments are therapists and psychiatrists and psychologists who are desperate to find tools that work. They've been treating the same patients for 10, 15, 20 years, and they're not making progress. And so that's really, you know, a group that's most excited about these new tools coming online to support what they do. Of course. So tell us a little bit about what you hope to achieve at this conference and, and in your work. Yeah, sure. So we're in this really unique place, being that we've been funded by philanthropists over the past 36 years. We've raised about $100, $140 million in philanthropy to take us this far in our research. And now we have a public benefit corporation, pharmaceutical company, that's preparing for commercialization. So that means that we're preparing to roll out access to these treatments across North America. So it'll be the United States, Canada, and also Israel at the same time. We're also opening research in seven additional countries right now across Europe. Um, and so we are needing to capitalize our expansion and our commercialization efforts. So we just opened up the opportunity to invest in our work for the first time in our history. And so I'm hoping to meet people who are inspired and mission driven like we are to provide real solutions to people who are suffering in very deep ways. Everyone knows somebody who's suffering. Um, and so I'm hoping to meet people that are, care about these things, might be a little bit more impact oriented, but who really see that this is a new multi-billion dollar industry that MAPS is really pioneering and will be you know, the first that's in line to go to market on, on, with this new treatment if, uh, if in the event of FDA approval. So, and just connecting with people who, um, yeah, who are leaders in, what, in their spaces and there's a lot of work ahead of us and we're going to need a lot of help and support to get us there.